Celebrating inclusivity within our athletic department, university, and conference is extremely important, but it is also very hard to do if we don't understand what exactly it is that we're celebrating. At times, we may think that equal access to opportunities and resources is a given, but that's not always the case. To further improve my understanding of inclusion and be able to fully celebrate it, I decided to ask members of the LGBTQIA plus community about their experiences. So, what does pride mean to you? Pride to me means having the courage and love from others to be my authentic gay self. To see others in the LGBTQ plus community feel safe and supported where they live and where they work and be able to, to do this 365 days a year. For me, pride means being proud of who you are no matter what other people may think. Pride means living your true, authentic life and not hiding yourself from the world. It means expressing yourself how you want and loving whoever you want without remorse. Pride to me is feeling like I have the freedom to be me, to truly be able to fully celebrate who I am as a person. It means not only accepting who I am, but being proud of who I am and who I love. Pride to me means not being afraid to be who you really are. This could be not allowing others to dictate how you dress, act, or feel, and being true to yourself. Pride is a beautiful reminder, one that recognizes how far the LGBTQIA community has come to reach freedom and liberation, but also one that acknowledges the ongoing pain and challenges that we still face today. Pride is palatable and brings acknowledgement and awareness to the less tangible and sometimes silent struggle. Pride is a symbol of where we've been and where we're headed. What is it like to sometimes not be able to fully express who you truly are? The process of coming out never ends. It is lifelong. We are an invisible minority that is asked daily about who we are dating, who we are married to, if we have kids. This lifelong process often has negative results of not being accepted. We lose people in our lives all the time because of our sexual identity. My mother never supported my lifestyle nor my partner, which changed my relationship with my entire family, caused less connection and less time being in a place I used to call home. To feel as though the person you truly are is not accepted by other people is a very difficult feeling. Having to hide a part of yourself in order to not make other people feel uncomfortable or change the way they look at you creates a lot of stress and anxiety. Hiding a part of yourself from others makes you feel as though you have something to be ashamed of, which is not right. It's having to hide a part of yourself, meaning you're not able to be the best and most honest version of yourself. As a result, you are doing a disservice to yourself and others when you feel like you can't be who you truly are. It's really difficult to have to put on a front at times in order to feel more comfortable or even safer in certain spaces. I spent almost a decade struggling with my own identity because of various familial and societal pressures, including while I was competing as a Division I student athlete. Being able to work through that pain and come out on the other side as my authentic and full self is one of the greatest successes of my life. Conventional successes are great. Degrees, awards, jobs, salary, etc. But for me, the success of being able to live fully and transparently, that is immeasurable. Lastly, what can we do to change this? Fear is because of the unknown. We must educate people. We need to teach kindness and acceptance in the classroom, in our homes, in the workplace, and in the sports world. As part of the LGBTQ plus community, we must make ourselves visible and show others who we are and that we belong. Hatred does not belong in this world. To change this, I think it is important to have a proper representation in all aspects of our lives. As collegiate athletes, we are in the spotlight a lot. Using our platform can be a way to give other people the representation they might not get the chance to see otherwise. Educate others with the purpose of creating and maintaining safe and open spaces for people to be able to really express themselves, as well as to help and encourage people to cultivate a solid support system. 
The biggest change to be made is allowing for more and more conversations around what it is to be a part of the LGBTQ community in order to educate others. I understand the culture of athletics can make full expression challenging at times. I'd like student athletes and coaches to know they are not alone. There are people who are a few years ahead of them on the journey, ready and eager to offer support. Systemically, we can create structures that not only support, but promote individuals living their fullest and most authentic lives. Bears United is a great example. My call to action is for student athletes, including LGBTQIA plus identifying individuals and allies to come be a part of the Bears United community. We see you and we see your courage and resilience.